What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. Oh, yeah, guys. So today we're going to be doing a little bit more quests. Surprise, surprise. Yes. Uh, at the end of the last episode, we started messing around with a little bit of the Botania stuff. We're in the Botanical Garden section. We're going to continue on with this today. So our next quest looks like it wants us to do a day bloom. Oh, we need nightshade um, and mana spreaders. You know, we've collected some nightshades, I do believe. Oh, come on, spell. <laughs> we collected nightshades already. These produce mana at night. They're per they're passive. But Batania's been changed that the uh, nightshades and the day blooms, they only will work for like three days and then they die off. So I think you can keep them with some special stuff. I don't know. But basically, these flowers are pretty much uh, to get you going, to get your first little bit of mana. You're not supposed to rely on them. There's bigger and better flowers for you to do that with. Uh, so it wants us to make two mana spreaders. And the mana spreaders are made from that living wood that we made at the end of the last episode. Ooh, and an arcane prism. This is different. Okay. So what's the arcane? What is all of this stuff? I guess we're going to have to get into our cascade. I wasn't expecting to do this, to be honest. So we need arcane blue ingots around. What is this? What is this? Okay, so this is promethium ingots wrapped with... Aura Crystal Blue from Aura Cascade. And you get the blue ones from Lapis and the white ones. And you get the white ones from an ingot wrapped with gold nuggets. Wow, this is a little bit intense, isn't it? Well, I guess those have EMC. So once we get to this point, we won't have to do that again. These have EMC too. Okay, so the purple ones come from the Arcane Violet, which is the violet ones. So we are going to need a lot of the different dyes. Now, we saw last episode, or at least I did that last episode with the mortar and pestle from Batania. Yeah, you can uh, take the petals from the flowers, put in the pestle and mortar, and then you can get the floral powder. So for instance, if we wanted the violet, um, I'm not sure which particular flower that is that does violet color. Maybe the mystical purple, magenta, I don't know. One of these, anyway, we can take these right here, do that, get the, uh, the pestle and mortar, mortar, mortar and pestle, whichever, like so. Oh. And I'm sorry, you put it in the crafting grid. I wanted to right click on that for some reason. Yeah, and then you can get this, and then you can dye anything with this like you would normally. So, uh, I wasn't expecting to have to do all this other stuff. Thankfully, these are all EMCable, so we will only have to do this the one time. So, yeah, let me go ahead and go through here. I'm going to make all these different crystals, and we will be right back. Oh my goodness, guys, that took a minute. I got all that crafting done. Thankfully, most of that stuff at EMC like we saw before, so I never have to make any of these bits and pieces again. But to uh, bring you guys through how this works, like this Amordrine ingots. I don't even know how to pronounce this. These are new metals from Metallurgy that I've never seen before. But in order to get one of these, we had to make this dust. And then you get the dust. Um, let's see. Yeah, I guess... By doing calendrite plus shiny, so I had to do that over in the smeltery over here. We got that done. We got this made, and then also required this other stuff. I think it was like promethium. Yeah, this promethium. We have this on EMC as well, so we were able to craft that. But that was just a lot of crafting, and then make all the crystals, and then make all those ingots, and all of that stuff. But thankfully, we got this all done. We don't really have to worry about that again. Yeah, we had to dye the crystals, all the different colors, and wrap them around the Promethium to get these. Anyway, that's all done. So we should be able to make our Arcane Prism, <laughs> which does have EMC, so we never have to make all of that stuff again, which is awesome. Cool. So back to the Mana Spreader that we were going to do. Actually, was there two Mana Spreaders that we needed or just one? I can't remember now. It's been a while for me since I looked at this book. Ah, two Mana Spreaders. Okay, so we're going to need two of these. Let's make another one. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? Anything special? Just a petal. Okay, we got one. Let's grab a flower. I don't know. Um, do we have one that a lot of? We have a lot of these light grays. Let's do this one. There we go. There's that. And finally, we can just tell it. I want to use these light grays. There's that one and this one. Cool. All right. So there's two mana spreaders. That should complete this portion of the quest. Now we need to make day blooms. I didn't really look at this, but I know this is made on the, I still can't remember the name of the thing that we had over here. <laughs> Why can I not remember the name of this? 
That is the Petal Apothecary. That's right. I took that thing down to... I was going to go out there and look at that with the tooltip and saw that was gone. Yeah, the Petal Apothecary. Uh, so we need to make these day blooms. And the day blooms is made with two yellow petals and then a light blue and an orange. So we have yellow flower, light blue. And then what was it? Orange? Was it? I can't remember the, uh, the amount. Uh, so two yellow, one blue, one orange. Let's grab another yellow. That should give us enough to make two day blooms. There's that. There's that. We need seed once again. Let's grab these things. Cool. All right. So if we set the petal apothecary out here, all we have to do is fill this full of water. You can do it one of two ways. You can either right click your bucket on there or you can cue the bucket on there. And if there's a bucket on top that fills the petal apothecary, uh, so all we got to do is just cue each, or I guess two of those, one of these, one of those, and a seed. Boom, done. Okay, so let's do a second one. Two of those, one of those, one of those, and a seed. Done. Awesome. Okay, so back to the quest book. That wanted us to make how many of those? Just one? Oh, wanted us to make four of those. Okay, let me double that up real quick then. It doesn't really take too long to do these. Uh, what was it? Orange and then light blue. Like so. Yeah, making these sometimes is fun. You can kind of get yourself into like a production line kind of a thing and make a couple really quickly. Um, look, and I've done this before. Like I take all the stuff off my hot bar like this, except for the bucket. The bucket would be the last one. It'd be something. Let's see. And then I need two more seeds. Yeah, I do it like this. So I stand on top of the thing. It's full of water right now, right? So I can do QQ. Why do I only have one orange get on there? Uh, Q, 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 and then Q, 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 like that. And you can do it pretty quickly that way and make two more of them, uh, but you can only do two at a time with the bucket, unless you have more full buckets in inventory, and inventory tweaks should auto-fill that, I think. Anyway, so there's ways you can do it a little bit faster. That's the way I do it. Um, so we have four of those day blooms now made. And that's going to give us four endo flames, which is awesome. These are the flowers that don't decay over time. So let's do left reward back today. And this is a good one. What do we get? We get more of these specter blocks of things we don't care about that are unbreakable, apparently. Or you can't mine them. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know if they're wither boss proof or anything. I don't know too much about them. Okay, so back to the quest book. The next step on our quest is to make a mana pool. We need to, we need to make one of those. All right, so to make a mana pool, uh, we can just craft it with living rock. Cool. So that's going to be really easy. Previously, I don't remember if this was changed permanently in the Batania mod or if this was just changed in these mod packs that I've done recently. But before, you had to make the diluted mana pool, fill this full of mana, and then make a second diluted mana pool and toss that in to the, the first one that's got mana in it, and that would convert it to the mana pool. I don't know if they've done away with that whole thing or what the deal is, but yeah, it looks like there's just a recipe to straight up craft these things now, which is awesome. That makes the beginning stages of Batania that, less, that much less tedious. All right, so we'll claim this reward as well, and that is going to give us... Uh, unique reward, ammo, ferromagnet magnet slug, and a rail gun turret. What is this? This is from open modular turrets. Projectile damage, 500 hearts. Wow. That is crazy. It uses 50,000 RF per shot. Can I fire this myself? I can't set this down. I don't know anything about this mod. That's how it says BFG on there. <laughs> uh, that's an awesome. What is it? That's Doom. That's a reference to Doom or is that a reference to Quake? I can't remember. It's been so long since I played the game that has the BFG in it. Um, I think it's Doom. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, we, I don't know anything about that mod. We might look at getting into this sometime. I don't know if there's a quest for it or not. 
Um, but there is the slugs for that, which is pretty cool. Guess we can put those away. All right, so beyond the mana pool, a better mana pool for all other items. Cool. Uh, so we can do either the hydrogenas or do the runic altars and start going into the runes. I'm not sure. Maybe this way would be the better way. So we, maybe we should make the water flowers. Whoop. So to make these things, there's two of them. Oh, there's a motif. Okay, so that's just like a... Um, Just friendly crustaceans. All right. Anyway, uh, so blue petal, some cyan petals, and then a mana powder. And the mana powder is made with gunpowder thrown into a mana pool. Or it looks like any form of these different dusts that all look rather the same. Gunpowder is probably what we're going to use since we have a lot of it. But before we can do that, we have to actually get mana. Okay, that's fine. Fair enough. Uh, I was going to sleep, but I guess what we can do is check out the nightshades. So the nightshades around the mana pool. I can't remember if these things... It used to be a thing where you, ha you can't put them right next to each other, and I can't remember if that was removed or not. I think they're like this. You could see little beams going back and forth, which said you did it wrong. Um... They place this down after. I think I have to link these actually. Okay, so let's look at making a wand of the forest. So the wand of the forest is how you link flowers to mana pools and allow them to transfer their mana. So it looks like you can make them pretty much any different color and combination and the petals show up differently on here. We're just gonna use, I don't know, whatever petals we have on us. It looks like we're going to do an orange and a magenta. So we also need living wood twigs, which is made by two living wood on top of each other. Okay. Like so, one, two, three of those. And it looks like those have EMC. So let's go ahead and learn those while we are at it. So we can stick those in our crafting grid like this. And then one of these and one of those. And there you go. Yeah, it shows orange and purple, and we can swap those around if we wanted to. Purple, then orange. Doesn't really matter. That's just if you care what it looks like. Um, so we can right-click on this flower and see the status. It'll update it. We can... Oh, you know what? Okay, I was wrong. The flower needed the uh, the mana spreader. That was the problem. So we needed to right-click the mana spreader. Shift right-click the mana spreader and then right-click the mana pool, isn't it? Or is it... you? Shift click and then shift click. Okay, shift click and then shift click. These things need to be shift clicked like this so that we link them. Okay, they should be transferring their mana. Yeah, all their mana is gone. They transfer their mana to the mana spreader. The mana spreader ha now has the mana. When it gets enough mana, it'll send it into the mana pool. Uh, we can probably use the rest of our day blooms over here. I don't remember how these things link if we had to if they're already linked oh yeah okay so they're already self link them self to the mana spreader since that was already nearby uh they should be generating mana very slowly during the daytime and they should be providing the mana spreader here with mana looks like there is a little bit in here uh, i don't know if we have enough though i don't know if we have enough to convert the gunpowder into the mana powder it has an X on there, which means there is not enough. So we just got to wait a little bit for those day blooms to do their thing. Actually, we have some of these endo flames too that we can stick down relatively close nearby. And each one of those will use fuel like a furnace. So we can just grab, I don't know, four pieces of coal for all four of those flowers to use. Like that. Okay, those are all suck them up. They'll start putting the mana into this mana spreader, which will start pushing the mana into the mana pool. Yeah, we can watch the mana spreader's bar go up now. Yeah, these things produce way more mana than the day blooms or the nightshades. These are not really great at all. Um, yeah, how we do on the mana pool? Can we make the stuff? We can. We got the green check mark. Cute. There we go. Got it. And this does not have EMC, so we have to make those every single time we want to do that. All right. 
So back to the quest book. Oh, actually, we need to make like a bunch of those, right? All right, guys. Well, I got the four hydro flowers created. That wasn't too bad. And I did pick up the nightshades and the day blooms. You'll notice that they are not stacking and they don't stack anymore. I don't know. Maybe in some certain situations they would. But basically, these things have an internal timer and they will only work for three days each. So if you go into the Lexica Batania, we got this book a while ago, and you go under Generating Flora, and you go to the caveats of Passive Generation, it says Passive Flowers are those simply create mana using a completely free resource such as the sun or water. Active flowers require some sort of resource to transform into mana. It may or be it renewable or not. Uh, at the start, uh, rudimentary Passive Flowers are available such as Daybloom or Nightshade. These flowers are required to advance some more potent and effective active flowers, but they should not be relied upon. Uh, they will decay into a dead bush after three days of work. Yes. So these flowers no longer stack into each other. I wonder if there's a way. I wonder. Like what we're doing with the loot bags and those things. I'm curious if we can all, if we can put those into a deep storage unit. <laughs> a deep storage unit. Let's see if we can make one of these. I don't think we're ever going to do this for real, but I just, I'm just kind of curious if we can cheaty these day blooms in like that. Somehow I just put 12 of them in there. Uh, okay. So my nightshade just turned into a day bloom. Now they stack. They lost all their metadata apparently. So now we can take these and plant them, right? But now they won't stack. Well, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting the nightshades to be turned into the day blooms like that. But that is very interesting. Now I'm noticing there's only plus 11 instead of plus 12 like we had before. There's five more. Plus 11. Huh. I don't know. So anyway, I guess that is a way that you can cheaty the system using the deep storage label. There's something with this mod. Yeah, the simple labels mod. It did that with the loot bags. The loot bags aren't supposed to be allowed to stack again after you take an item out, but putting them back into a deep storage unit through the storage label or simple labels mod. Yeah, that got rid of that thing and allowed them to stack again. That's interesting. I wasn't really expecting this to work, but it did. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. We will just stick them back in the table like so. So there might be... Hmm. I was thinking there might be a way that we could automate that, uh, to place out day blooms, have them work and put into, you know, a mana spreader nearby. But I don't know if there's a way that we can automatically put the day blooms back in through the simple labels or whatever the, uh, the deep storage label. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We're not going to be doing this, but, uh, then quest book. Yeah. Let's get back to this thing. We did complete this quest. That's going to give us a chance cube. Let's do our left reward bag like we do. This is a greater reward bag, and we got bedrock. Wow. We got bedrock. That's the thing we can get, apparently. That's the thing you don't want to place, because uh, you won't be able to unplace it. Does not have EMC. We'll stick that in the EE system. <laughs> we don't want to accidentally right-click that onto something. So I'll put the day blooms away as well. So now that that's done, that's going to open up the mana steel, mana st steel. <laughs> so that's a detection task. We need 32 of those. Now we had mana steel previously from our loot bags, mana steel. So all we got to do is tell our system, Hey, make me 32 of those. That's going to use 160 dense crystals. That's a little crazy. Yeah. We can just make the mana steel this way. Now, normally to make the mana steel, I believe. Uh, you have to put iron ingots into the mana pool. You have to put iron ingots into here with a decent amount of mana in there and that'll make the mana steel. But yeah, we can create this stuff just like so using, uh, our EMC crystals or whatever. So that's cool. So that should complete this quest. Yeah. Mana steel ingot, uh, all complete. That's going to give us a reward bag and a chance cube plus our left reward bag. So basic one is horse armor. Yeah. And then our good reward bag is fantasy block. We keep getting that one quite often. That's disappointing. Okay. So we got that done. We're moving on flower 
Oh, jaded amaranthus. Hmm. Provided with mana, this will generate mystical flowers at a certain range. I can't remember if I've ever made one of these before. But let's look it up. Okay, to make one of these, we just need the Petal Apothecary, a redstone root, which is grass plus redstone. You can get grass uh, by bone mealing the ground and shearing it with shears, right? So that's pretty easy. Purple flower, lime, green, and rune of spring. Okay, so we cannot do this until we get the runes. So let's backtrack. I saw it going the other way in the quest line. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a runic altar. I think we've got mana pearls. I don't know if we've got mana diamonds. We got mana pearls. How many was it? Eight? I think it was eight. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, eight of those and then mana diamond. So the mana diamond is made by throwing a diamond into a mana pool. I don't know if we have enough mana in the mana pool right now to do this. Let's find out. We do. Cool. Nice. All right, this has EMC as well. So we'll go ahead and learn that here. I think it was a total of four of those that we needed. So there's that. So our mana pearl. There's these guys. Very good. And what was the last portion of this? We needed the runic altar itself. So the runic altar is made with one mana pearl or mana diamond. I guess the pearl's cheaper. Wait, yeah, it's cheaper. Uh, and then five living rocks. So let's go ahead and do this recipe. Actually, what? Okay, yeah, we'll do this. So there's our runic altar. Nice. So this quest is fulfilled. Left reward bag, claim it. All right, so what do we have here? We have a greater reward bag and... Okay, angry and creepy dolls. We don't really need those. That's how you can make a blaze or an enderman through X Nihilo. Yep. All right, so going back to the quest, let's continue on here. So runes are the four elements. This is what we need to make. So one of each different elements. So let's check this out. Rune of... Okay, we want water, earth, fire, and air. Okay, so to make the rune of water, we need mana powder, mana steel, bone meal, sugar cane, and a fishing rod. We have sugar canes, right? Can't remember now. Yeah, we have these. Okay, so we can make some sugar canes. We need to make a fishing rod. I guess we can clean up our inventory a little bit here. Uh, these things. Do that. These don't have any EMC on them. I guess I'll just toss that stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, uh, fishing rod. We don't have one of those. We have not seen a fishing rod yet in the series. Uh, so we have string and stick is all we're going to need. Okay. Yeah. We got string. Let's make another one. And sticks. Boop. Oops. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so there's a fishing rod. Let's go and learn this. Nice. So we have the fishing rod. We have sugar cane, bone meal, mana steel. So the problem that I'm seeing right now is we are probably not going to have enough mana to complete this. At least I don't think so. We're going to need mana powder too, so let's do some gun powder. We're probably going to need mana powder for each of those. Maybe mana powder, mana powder, mana powder. Yeah, we need mana powder for each one of these things. Okay, so let's go ahead and get those. Yeah, uh, in order to do the runic altar crafting, we need to point this mana spreader at the runic altar. Get in there. We don't have enough. Okay. Oh, did that not make it in there? There we go. So let's go ahead and get some burnable stuff. Do we have blaze rods? We can't craft those, it doesn't look like. So let's not use those. Uh, coal we can craft or charcoal. We have charcoal over here. So what we're gonna wanna do is have these flowers constantly making mana going into here. Uh, let's set down a runic altar. Let's set that down like right here. And we are going to need to point our mana spreader at the altar when the time comes. So first things first, let's go ahead and place that. We will place the fishing rod, the bone meal. Was it man of steel? Man of steel and sugar cane. Okay, where's my sugar cane? 
Like so? Yeah, okay, so as soon as you place all the right ingredients, it knows and makes that sound. So you know. Just gonna place a little a few more of those here. Alright, so we're gonna shift right click here and click shift right click here. There we go. So the mana spreader is now pointing at the altar. It's providing the altar with mana. You can see the little thing on the right of the arrow over here going around clockwise. That's showing the progress. And we are sucking mana out of our mana pool to do this. Yep. So it looks like we had just enough mana to do what we need to do on this one. Oh, that's right. We also need the living rock. Go ahead and cue one of those on top of the altar. And click it with the wand. And there we go. Okay, so now we have the rune of water. So I need to do that with the rune of fire. Um, that's just nether brick and nether wart. Rune of earth. The difference is stone and coal and a brown mushroom. And then finally the rune of air. Uh, carpet, feather, and string. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these done. Just going to have to camp these uh, <laughs> flowers for a while. I might make more of these endo flames. These work pretty well. Yeah, these uh, endo flames work pretty well in order to make mana early on. Um, in fact, these are the only flowers that I used in Infinity Evolved Expert mode when I was doing Batania. But I had these things set up to be completely automated. And I had a large scale operation going on. So I might make a few more of these flowers. I don't know yet. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Well, that wasn't so bad. I went ahead and made up the other three runes that we needed. And we have those ready to go now. So back to the quest book. Yeah, we have unlocked this. And it's going to give us a chance cube. Let's do a reward bag. So a good reward bag is going to give us more horse armor, which we've got many times. We don't need those anymore. Cool. Um... So going forward beyond this, we need to do the runes of the four seasons. I do believe those are a little bit more involved. So rune and spring requires two of the previous runes that we just made and some saplings and some wheat. It's not super difficult. Uh, summer, it looks like it is melon and slime ball plus some sand and then earth and air. So pretty much all those runes we just made, we're going to be using them in these recipes going forward. There's also a rune of mana. Oh, this isn't so bad. Uh, five mana steel plus a mana pearl. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. And then there's all of the different sin runes. Pride, envy, wrath, sloth, gluttony, lust, greed. I think that's it, right? Yeah, cool. Anyway, guys, I think we've done enough questing for today. <laughs> we got a lot of Batania stuff done. Um, I don't know if we're going to need to set up an entire Batania area in this series or not. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. We are going to have to make Terra Steel, and it looks like we are going to have to make some of this, whatever that stuff is. I forget. Elementium. Yeah, we might end up having to set up a whole Batania area for all of this stuff. But for this early beginning stage stuff, not so much. But yeah, we're definitely going to be doing all these other different runes. We're going to be making mana tablets, it looks like. I am not even know what this is. Rose Arcana. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we might end up having to make a full Batania area, like I said. Oh, it looks like he wants us to make the Elven stuff. Cool. Yeah, we'll have to get into that when we get there. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.